Hello, everyone. My name is Scott Grant. I'm the Certified Senior Advisor with GrayingWithGrace.com. On today's episode of Graying with Grace TV, we're going to be talking about coffee makers for seniors and the elderly. What might seem like a trivial issue to some is a very important issue for the millions of older adults who can't start their day without a great cup of coffee. So let's go. All right, let's first talk about some important features and options you should look for when shopping for a coffee maker for seniors and the elderly. Then I'm going to show you a few of my favorites, which are these three here, uh, which are the ones that I recommend. But first, let's get into those features. When you're looking for an easy coffee maker for older adults, sometimes the best thing to do is just to stick to what they're used to. What I mean by that is to stick to the style of machine that they're used to. If they're used to using a drip style coffee maker, stay with the drip style. It's probably not time to introduce them to French presses or pour over coffee makers, things like that. So if they're used to a drip style coffee maker, just find a drip style that's maybe easier for them to use. Look for simple switches and controls. At best, you want to look for a machine that has maybe one or just two buttons to press to get the coffee making process started. Always choose a machine that has auto shut off. This feature will automatically turn the machine off either when the coffee is done brewing or after a certain period of time. So this will reduce the chance of coffee sitting in a carafe and maybe burning over a period of time if the machine is left on. Consider the process of how the coffee will be made each morning, how the machine will be loaded. Does the senior need to measure out the coffee? Will they need to change the filters? How will they get that process started? So think about that when you're looking at machines for, for this population. Also, if the machine has a carafe on it, you need to choose one with a stainless steel carafe. Stainless steel, of course, if it gets dropped, uh, will not break and shatter into pieces. So that could save an accident or an injury uh, from cut glass. Sometimes automation, uh, excuse me, automatic machines with pro programmable timers are a good idea, especially for um, elderly people who have a caregiver. With this type of setup, the caregiver can get the machine loaded, turn on the timer before they leave in the evening, and then the machine will automatically kick on uh, in the morning when the senior is ready for their coffee. So as a general rule, I don't recommend them, but in that specific situation, that's probably a good idea. You want to look for a machine that has easy to read buttons and numbers. Uh, everything should be big, bold, contrasted print that's easy for them to see. If the machine has a display on it, make sure it's bright and clear and also with big, bold, easy to read numbers. Choose one that has loud beeps and alarms. So if the machine's going to give them a warning that the, it's been on for too long or give them a warning that the coffee is ready, just make sure those alarms and beeps are, are loud enough to maybe hear from the next room. You also want one that's easy to clean and reassemble if it needs to be taken apart. Some coffee machines have reusable filters that have to be taken out and rinsed, you know, versus others that have disposals, excuse me, disposable ones. So you want to make sure that the whole machine is just easier for them. You know, basically they can wipe it down and, and keep it clean that way. And also don't forget the style and the size might matter. Some seniors are very particular about the way their kitchens look, so they may not want a big, dark coffee machine sitting on the countertop. They may prefer something small. Some people may want a color that complements their, their kitchen. So just kind of keep those things in mind too. So next, let's look at my three favorite coffee makers and I'll show you why I recommend those. All right, this is the Keurig K-Express single serve coffee maker uh, that I do recommend for seniors and the elderly. It is one of my top picks. And the reason is it's just overall, it's a very simple, basic, easy to use coffee machine. So how uh, this would be used by seniors and the elderly is if you just lift up this lever here, this is where the coffee pod goes, and if you notice how easily and simple that, that pops up, just give it a little push right there, and then that opens up. Put in the coffee pod, and then press this back down, and just a simple press of the palm is all it takes. So even people with hand weakness, arthritis, aren't gonna have trouble uh, using this machine. So once it's loaded with their favorite coffee pod, they then select which size coffee cup they have, 
If they only have one size coffee cup and this is going to cause any type of confusion, you can always put a piece of black tape over the other options. That way they'll know which one to press. So they would press their coffee cup size. If there's somebody who likes a stronger cup of coffee, they can press the strong button here, which will activate that. And uh, then the machine will get started. If you notice all these buttons are big and bold and have nice print on them. It's well contrasted with the bold white against the black buttons. The buttons are easy to press too. So just a very simple push activates the buttons. This tray here is removable, so you can put in a tall travel mug here, or it's also just for cleaning. It makes it very simple and easy to clean. So while we're talking about cleaning, this machine they would just simply wipe down. There's not much to do as far as that goes. And then to keep the machine in water, this is your reservoir here in the back. It holds 42 ounces of water, so depending on what size cup they use and how many uh, cups they drink each day, you know, this is the last three, four, five days worth of coffee making. So to replace the water in here, they can either lift off this lid, use a pitcher or a cup to pour their water into the machine and then replace it, or this entire reservoir simply lifts off straight off. You can take that over to the sink and then um, they can replace it right back here. So in that way they're ready to go. So again, just a very simple, easy to use uh, coffee maker for uh, older adults. This is the Hamilton Beach Scoop, which is one of my top picks of coffee makers for seniors and the elderly. It is a very easy to use coffee maker. There's a little slight difference that I'd like to go over with you and show you how to use it. Um, but I think once people get used to that difference, this will be a, a good addition uh, to the kitchen of a senior or elderly person. To use this coffee maker, they'd simply lift up this lid here. And if you notice, it is spring loaded, so it doesn't take a whole lot of effort or force to push that up which will be good for people with um, you know, arthritis or hand weakness. Then the machine comes with this scoop that you can see here. This scoop is what you actually put the coffee into. So you can take it over to your container of coffee, literally scoop it, press it in here, and then it only seats in there one way, so they'll know if they've got that incorrectly. Then simply close this lid. If you can hear, that does kind of pop shut with a spring. So also very simple and easy to, easy to uh, close that lid. Water, water reservoir, excuse me, is here back in the back. It's got markings here that show you what the maximum amount of water is. What I suggest is that simply take the mug over to the sink, fill it up to the uh, amount of coffee that they want, pour that water in back here, then simply place the mug here and close the lid. That way you're guaranteed not to have any kind of overflows or messes um, when the coffee comes out of the machine. Then after they've been through these steps, your on uh, buttons are here. For regular brew would be here, just press that. For bold brew here, press that. So they can choose which option they want. Then in about two minutes, they'll have themselves a great cup of coffee. So once they, uh, you kind of get used to this little bit of difference here with the scoop, they will, I think this would be a great coffee maker for, um, for seniors in the elderly. This is the Cuisinart 4-Cup Coffee Maker. Their model number is the DCC450BK. This is one of my top picks of coffee makers for seniors and the elderly because it is an easy to use machine. And it also it uses a coffee making process that they're probably already familiar with, much like a drip coffee maker that they're already used to using. So with this machine to make coffee, they would simply lift the lid here. This is a bit stiff at first, so if you use the kind of the side of their finger, that makes it a little easier to pop that up. Inside is the filter basket, so the paper filter would go here, along with their preferred amount of coffee. In the back here is the water reservoir. So to fill that, what I suggest to do is take your um, carafe out of the machine, take the lid off here from the back, fill that up in the sink, then they can replace the lid, and then fill the reservoir. Then after that, Put the craft back in its spot and then close the lid. Then to start the machine, all they need to do is simply press this one switch here to on. And then in about two minutes, they'll have themselves a great cup of coffee. The other thing I love about this machine, if you have any concerns of, uh, of people dropping the coffee carafe, this carafe is stainless steel. It is not glass. So if it does get dropped, it's not going to shatter into a million pieces. So it's going to... Um, 
Potentially reduce a mess and definitely um, reduce the chances of an injury from broken glass. So again, this is the Cuisinart 4 cup coffee maker. It is one of my top picks. If you'd like to learn more about coffee makers for seniors and the elderly, I'll put a link to the full blog post in the description below, as well as product links to the products that I've discussed here today. Please note those are affiliate links and I will be paid a commission if you choose to use those. Also, if you find content like this helpful, please use the subscribe button so you can get notifications anytime new content is released. Thank you.